Hey K Nation, today I'm doing a video on my skincare routine and also about how I cleared up my dark spots and all of my acne. The first thing that I always do is I go in with my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes and I take up all my makeup because I wear makeup a good bit so I always have to take my makeup off before I wash my face. I don't know, just to, I don't know, it just shortens the time that I have to wash my face with me taking off the makeup before I start. Taking off my makeup, I'm going to go in with my St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Facial Scrub and I'll just use it to clean my face. It works really well because I have dry skin but I also have oily skin so it's a good, it's a good moisturizer and also a cleanser for my skin and I like the way it smells, it smells so good, it reminds me of like green tea kind of. So now that I already put some on my face, I also apply some on my Sonic Clear brush and I use that and I scrub it in my skin. And it also beeps once you scrub for a minute, so I normally do about two minutes. I go ahead and I scrub for the first minute and then I rinse the brush off again and scrub for the second minute. And also Lauren says hey, because she came to the bathroom she was like hey you too. So Lauren says hey. So like I said before, I go ahead and I do the second scrub, so this is what I'm doing now after I rinse out my brush. So after I finish scrubbing my face, I just take my washcloth and I just wipe all of the scrub off and make sure that the little beads are off because the scrub leaves like these little beads all over your skin that turn white. So if you don't wipe them all away, you'll see all the little white pieces on your face. And if you notice, a little like in a couple more clips. I kind of left some of it on my face so I was trying to wipe it off because it gets kind of hard to wipe off. Now I'm just taking my Rapid Clear 2-in-1 toner and I use this and I put it all over my face because it's a good toner. It stings a little but it works very very well to clear up acne spots and dark spots. And as you can see I have used so much of it that I only have just a little bit left because it works that good. But sadly they don't make it anymore so therefore I can't buy anymore so I'm going to have to find another toner after I finish the rest of that, which I'll probably finish by tomorrow. Now I'm just checking my face to make sure it's dry and that I already got all of the little white beads off. And as you can see, I didn't because I'm going through and trying to wipe them off my face because they're getting sticky again and they're getting stuck on my face. So normally this is what I do right before I apply my face mask and I make sure that my face is completely dry and there is nothing left on it. So now I'm taking my Lush face mask and this is Embraced Honey and I'm just applying it all over my face. I actually just got this face mask but I'm not so sure how I like it yet because there's like grounded almonds in it and when you apply it on your face it kind of scratches you so like therefore it starts burning because it's like opening your skin when the mask is scratching you but overall it's good it actually helps clear up the dark spots because it has turmeric in it but also it just makes my face burn a little and so in this video I normally leave it on longer but it was burning my face so I kind of ended up taking it off before the actual time that I needed to Now that I'm done applying the mask, I set a timer for 10 minutes and I let the mask sit on for about 10 minutes. But like I said before, 
Today my face was burning, so I was like, I am not leaving this mask on for no dog on 10 minutes. So I actually ended up taking it off. As you see right now, I took it off quicker than what I normally do. Just because it was burning my skin. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I put the toner on before, but my skin started burning. So I was like, I have to take this off right now. So here I am taking off the mask. It's kind of hard to take it off because it's so light. It's so thick that you can't just like rinse it off with water. So I spent about five minutes trying to rinse off this mask. And as you can see, I got tired of doing it like that. So I just took my washcloth and I started taking off the mask with the washcloth, which was way easier. And it also helped with the burning, I guess, to have like something against my skin that wasn't only the mask. Before I get into the next step, I like to make sure that my skin is dry again. So I'm kind of just fanning it to make sure it's dry. Right before I apply the rose water spray, I'm just going to call it rose water spray because I can't pronounce this man's name. So you can see the spray, you know what that is. I just call it rose water because I can't pronounce it. So I'm taking the spray and I'm just spraying it all over my face. Not that close though, just because my skin gets irritated really quick. And finally, the last part of my skincare routine, I just take my Shea Moisture Coconut Daily Hydration Lotion. And I just put that all over my face just as a moisturizer while I'm asleep. But I don't put that much just because when I wake up, my skin's normally oily, but like dry around my T-zone area. So I just put just a little bit on my face and I rub it in and make sure that it's completely like, what do you call it? I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. I just make sure that it's completely rubbed in my face and that is basically my entire skincare routine. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is just my skincare routine that I just started doing and so far it's been working for me. And if you decide to try it, just let me know in the comments and let me know how it worked out for you. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. True.